So here at Roslyn Lee Fishery again for a, a session today and the weather's looking very good. Nice wee ripple in the water and only danger is the water's probably been hammered over the weekend but we'll give it a bash today and hopefully it's a good day. Looking forward to it. So as you can see by the time I got set up and paid my money and had a little chat the sun was out in full force so cracking morning, great to be out fishing. So I was fancying something a bit different on this morning, just a bit of a change, I was in the mood for something slightly different so I decided even though conditions were pretty bright, it was a bit of a swirling wind and the wind kept picking up going away. It was forecast to be windy but it wasn't that windy throughout the whole day to be honest but um, yeah I decided to go and try and get the fish to chase now I love this method of fishing it's good fun and you tend to get a lot of knocks and pulls if the fish are switched onto it so that was my idea try and get the, the fish to chase something and um, just have a little bit of fun ideal conditions for fishing this method is really overcast a bit um, when it's very bright it tends to push the fish down a little bit and um, so ideally overcast and a bit of ripple on the water is ideal but you can adjust the suit if the fish are willing to chase then it's always worth a bash so the idea was to have a floating fly on my dropper and an unweighted or slightly weighted fly on the point now that just means that the floating fly on the dropper creates a nice little bit of disturbance on the top of the water and slightly behind that you have your other point fly which is slightly subsurface and tempts them into chasing that. You will get some fish taking the floating fly but 9 out of 10 times they come and have a look and they'll see the subsurface point fly and they'll start chasing and hammering that. As you can see I set this up 8 foot to the dropper and then 6 foot to the point fly and um, the flies I was using for this was on the dropper a uh, squirmy worm with a foam post on it and on the point just a normal squirmy worm and a nice amber colour. I would decrease the distance of 6 feet between the dropper and the point fly if it was coloured water or if there was a bigger wave on the water but for this camera conditions with quite clear water 6 feet I find is a good number. So here I am fishing away and could see the cloud cover was coming so my best chance really was when the cloud came over a bit I found that the fish would switch more onto it then but I just continued with it I knew the fish weren't that low down in the water and you can see there that floating fly in the dropper causing a nice little disturbance on the top there and that's that's the whole purpose of this method is just to get their attention and get them to come and have a look so kept going with this and yeah, the, when the wind picked up and the cloud came over, it became more successful, but just stuck with it to begin with, and it wasn't too long before it started having an effect. Me lose. 
So that was nice to get my first fish, um, gave me the confidence that the method was going to work or at least give me the confidence to keep going with that for some time so yeah always good and great fun, great fun fishing this method. So that was fish number two and great fun again. Often do get that pull before you get that solid take and it's, it can be quite hard not to strike. Um, but when you're fishing this way, it's, it's always better to just keep retrieving until you feel that solid connection. Although many times you will strike just instinctive. So I now changed onto some different flies. So went for the black sonker with booby eyes on the dropper and a nice little damsel on the point so switched those up and started fishing again and yeah started getting a lot more little pools as you'll see and just a great way to fish and exactly what I was after on that day just nice relax relaxed session and enjoying it
So that was the end of my day and what a great day it was. Caught some fish, had plenty of action and had great fun doing it. Really is an enjoyable method when the fish are switched onto it and yeah. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Cheers.